Sasagal, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Sunny Singh. And thank you for checking out the very first production update vlog. First thing first, I think it's only right that we talk about the success that we've had thus far. In only a week's worth of time, we were able to get $1,000 worth of support. That's amazing. I ain't going front, man. Like, I did not <laughs> expect the initial response to be that great. At the same time, we got to keep this up because you can't just build a $1,000 and not follow up on that, not capitalize on that and build off of that momentum. Thank you guys, but let's keep it going. I don't want to waste y'all effort. You know, I'm doing these videos because I'm already on Twitter. I'm already on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I'm already emailing everybody i'm emailing media i'm emailing folks about the project i'm calling people i'm hitting them up on the deck but i figured why not put videos out every week to detail where we are in production share with y'all the process you know the story behind putting out a comic book because this is my first time jumping in into the indie scene you know what i'm saying y'all can get the opportunity to also be a part of the videos because i want y'all to hit me up with any questions you got this is going to be a way for us to get to know each other better with all that being said, why don't we go right into how Pages came to be. Back in December, I put out an ad on Reddit. I was looking for a professional writer, an upcoming writer preferably, that had some experience in the independent comic book scene. That's how I linked up with my writer, Rem Fields. Once we got to know each other better, we got right into work. And once the groundwork was laid out, that's when we started working on the script. While that process was going on, that's when I needed to look for an artist. And there's so many amazing artists out there. Your Pages does fit in the fantasy genre. So I was looking for an artist that can capture that. I ain't going front, man. I, I went through like hundreds of artists. Like it was crazy how many people, how many talented people were out there. And I was able to somehow narrow that down to 10 because initially I had like 60 people I wanted to reach out to, but then I somehow narrowed it and narrowed it down and I got to 10. That's where I found Carlos. Carlos Trigo, he is the main artist for Pages Issue 1. He responded, he said he was able to do the project, loved the concept, and history was made. I had my first writer, I had my first artist. So ever since December, we've been slowly but surely getting everything in order. Getting the concept, the pages locked in, getting the character designs uh, knocked out, the cover page knocked out, even Issue 0 in the process. So we were very busy multitasking on all of these different elements of pages that we wanted to have done before we even got into the kickstarter situation so as far as production is concerned we've knocked out i want to say a little over one third of the artwork for pages number one the script is almost done we're like over two thirds of the script almost done rem and i are planning on finishing that this month the way everything looks right now especially with a successful kickstarter we should be set to release the first issue of pages sometimes around may all right so now this part of the video i'm going to answer any questions you guys may have now of course this being the first video Hit up some of my homies. I told them, hey, tweet me question you may have about page. If y'all want to be a part of this, remember, either they comment on this video or you can hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Facebook, and, and I'll get to them. All right, so Ricky Spanish asked me, will there be any information on the main antagonist of pages in the near future? Yes, we will put out some more info on all of the characters. I just got to figure out how to do it without spoiling anything. Dr. Cassidy is a world famous particle physicist. The world that pages takes place in, Dr. Cassidy has a love-hate relationship with governments and particularly the government of the United States, people that live in this world, because she has done things in the past that although has helped humanity move forward, she's also been the direct influence of setting humanity back. And, and I don't want to give too much specifics on that. I really want y'all to, to check that out when Pages 1 releases. So Gabe asks, are any of the characters in Pages inspired by anyone you personally know? Yes. Over the years, especially when you were born and raised in New York, you have the privilege of meeting all types of people. Now at the same time, you meet some great folks, but you also meet some really truly horrible people. Take a lot of different personality traits and I was able to put them in my story. I didn't like make a character based off of a person. What I did was I took different and unique things about people. Just the stuff that really stood out to me that I remember, you know, over the years, molding these characters made them as unique as they are in pages, as you guys will read. All right, so there you have it, folks. That was the very first update vlog with your boy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. I plan on doing this every week. We're going to talk about a bunch of different things. I wanted to take this moment to give a quick shout out to the Comic Plug, comicplug.com. They did my first interview ever. They posted my first interview. I'm very proud of that. They're the first media outlet to show me love. Any type 
type of love. So that means a whole lot to me. It's a really big deal to me. So thank you guys. Shout out to Sal from Comic Pop. Comic Pop is doing amazing things on the YouTube scene. My man Sal decided to show me some love on Twitter. Thank you, Sal. And of course, shout out to GSB, Geek Soul Brother. My man, thank you so much for showing love on Twitter. All of this works out. You know I got you. So thank you so much for showing love. And most importantly, thank you to everyone who have been rocking with me this far. But it ain't over yet. We still got a long way to go. I want y'all to tell people straight up, I supported pages. I pledge. You know what I'm saying? You should be doing the same thing. So let your comic book fan friends know. Uh, this is the new story. This is the new wave to check out. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you taking the time. And I'll see y'all next week.